Okay, I left off with talking about the power of the Holy Spirit, which is the gift given unto us to help us overcome sin. This is expected of us, and Jesus said this in John 14:23. If a man love me, he will keep my words. So who does Jesus say does not love him? John 14:24. He that loves me not keepeth not my sayings. In John 15:10, if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. Romans 6.12 Let not therefore sin reign in your mortal body. Verse 18 Being then made free from sin, you became the servants of righteousness. First Thessalonians 3.13 it says that he is faithful to establish our hearts unblameable in holiness before God even our Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints he's faithful to keep us in obedience to his commandments because he gave us the Holy Spirit which is the power of God and in 1st Corinthians 6 verses 9 through 11 very important know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God do not be deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers nor effeminate nor abusers of themselves with mankind nor thieves nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you are washed, you are sanctified, but you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. He gave us remission of sins to take away our past sins, and then to give us the Holy Spirit to strengthen us, to resist sin, to flee from it. As you see in Acts 5.32, God gives the Holy Spirit to those who obey Him. To who? It specifically says the Holy Spirit is given to those who obey Him. The Spirit that leads, strengthens, and empowers unto salvation is the gift of God. And see Acts 18 to 20. Simon thought that such gift of the power of the Holy Spirit when he was laying hands on people and giving them the Holy Ghost, he wanted to buy that gift. He said, let me have this so that I can do this and lay hands on people and give them the Holy Ghost. And he wanted to buy it. So he asked Peter. And Peter said, your money <laughs> will perish with you. And he rebuked him. Because it's the gift of God. That's the purpose of Christ. is not just to give us the remission of sins, but the power to overcome evil. And in Colossians 1, verses 12 13, says, Giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us fit to be partners of the inheritance of the saints. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption, meaning we have been set free from the power of darkness through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. This is the purpose that Jesus died to remove the penalty for our sin and give us the power of God to be delivered from the power of darkness as Colossians 1.13 said and read Galatians 2.20 I'm crucified with Christ nevertheless I live yet not I but Christ lives in me and the life which I now live by the faith of the Son of God by his spirit and give himself for me Christ the King of Kings is in us by his spirit to win the war over the power of darkness that is waging against us we have the power. Now let's read Galatians 5, 17 through 24. For the flesh lusts against the spirit. This is that war 
and the power that we're talking about and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary the one to the other so that you can't do the things you would but if you be led of the spirit you're not under the law you see the body of Moses was without the spirit of God now we are in the body of Christ the new faith empowered against the works of the flesh and the standard was raised to include the mental acts of adultery and murder for example but the the works that we do are not our own credit as the body of Moses under the law did Jesus even died for those who died under the law Satan argued with Jesus with the Lord for the body of Moses but Jesus had the total victory of those who already died when he was here until those who died in Christ after his resurrection so honor the Lord by telling yourself that through Christ daily you can overcome whatever habit or whatever stronghold that exists in our lives his spirit was given to us for that purpose and to do the works for the ministry everyone also receives a gift that God works through you in his body that's the manifestation of the spirit to those who obey him that you talked about and see first Corinthians 12 he talks about all the different gifts of the Holy Spirit that there's apostles and prophets and teachings and miracles and healings and and faith and wisdom and knowledge all these are administration of the gifts of the Holy Spirit that he gives see he holds the hidden manna the body of Christ has these gifts of the spirit in Ephesians 4 11 through 13 he gave the spirit through apostles prophets evangelists pastors teachers for perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God into a perfect man the perfect body of Christ and to the measure of the stature of the of the fullness of Christ all treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hid in Christ Colossians 2 verses 2 to 3 Revelations 2 17 hear what the spirit of the church is to him that overcomes will he give to eat of the hidden manna all treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hid in Christ and he will give this along with the power of the Holy Ghost things to overcome sin believe this because you can overcome disobedience of the commandments 